Something I've really loved about new Minnesota Fighting Vikings edge rusher Zadarius Smith is that he, from day one, uh, adopted the role as team leader uh, of the defense as well as in the edge rusher room. He's already BFFs with Daniel Hunter. Plus, he's taking on the mentorship role of some of the younger pass rushers very seriously. And I think that it is Zadarius' way of paying it forward, and I think it's going to pay dividends uh, for the Vikings, some of these young players as well. So during this NFL offseason, uh, he's working with Janaris Robinson, uh, getting in that work, man. Just getting it done. That's right. They got workouts together. They're grinding, carrying around a dumbbell, stepping, work, uh, use a boomerang. Uh, like all the. Uh, also, I think it's funny. So, boomerang is technology on Instagram used by young people, uh, even though boomers boomerang. I, there's something that needs to be done there. But yeah, Zadaris, it's a family affair. He's got the kids there. He's got all the paintings of Zadaris in the house. It's a good looking gym. Is that upright row machine? Or whatever they call it. Anyway, it's good stuff. Uh, then uh, getting after doing some ab exercises because you need a strong core when you want some more in the NFC North because they're going to destroy him. As yeah, Darius getting after it, Janarius getting it as well, and. I I like to think that Zadarius has picked up the mantle of mentoring uh, Janarius just because their names are similar. And also, they came into the league as fourth-round picks, and it, it took a little while for them to really get their footing. But Zadarius had a phenomenal career in uh, in Baltimore, and then he got paid, uh, played for the Packers for a couple of years, and now he's coming to the Vikings, and he's just going to be that dude. And Janarius Robinson... I friggin' love Janaris Robinson in the draft last year. Fourth round pick, uh, but he was a forgotten man because he was placed on injured reserve in the offseason, and that was it. That was a fait accompli. I mean, there, there was nothing doing uh, in his rookie season. So it's almost like you're getting a bonus draft pick. But when he came in, uh, again, fourth round pick, number 134 overall out of Florida State, he was just an absolute physical freak. Is exactly what you want uh, in an edge rusher. Uh, but the thing about it is that he... He, he was sort of uh, in between positions where I, I think that he's better suited to be an outside linebacker rather than a hand in the dirt defensive end. And the Vikings primarily playing a 4 3 last year. I mean, he was going to have to put his hand in the dirt. Now, he'd done that at times at Florida State. Uh, and the problem that he had, even though he was a highly recruited player, four star coming in, that he flip flopped between multiple defensive schemes and multiple defensive coordinators uh, during his time in Tallahassee. So he never really got uh, any footing in terms of uh, his natural position, which, again, I think is outside uh, standing uh, up uh, edge rusher, outside linebacker. So uh, the fact that I was like, oh, he only had eight sacks in his college career, even though you're betting on the physical traits, even though Daniil Hunter, by the way, only had four and a half career sacks at LSU. And now Janarius Robinson, I think that he does have a chance uh, to be that third edge rusher. Even though I, I love me some DJ Wanham as well, but Janaris Robinson, Patrick Jones, Andre Mincy coming, uh, Mintz coming over from uh, the Denver Broncos, made the 53 last year as a UDFA. I think all of them have a chance to be behind uh, Daniil and Zedarius and get uh, whatever scraps and whatever extra snaps there are to be had because I think that they're uh, going to find a way at Donatell and company, uh, are, they're going to find a way to be able to have multiple uh, pass rushers on the field at the same time. So I think that you'll find spots where uh, Daniil and Zadarius and Wanham and Robinson are out there just getting it in a, a quasi-NASCAR package. Plus, you know, don't sleep on the fact that Mike Smith, uh, outside linebackers coach, pass rush specialist, uh, is coming over from the Greasy Grime at Green Bay Packers. Now, he was with Zadarius uh, for a couple years in Green Bay, and Mike Smith is also the guy who helped Rashawn Gary get his head out of his sphincter, where Rashawn Gary was a draft bus for a number of seasons before he really got together uh, last year and is now ascending to becoming one of the better young edge rushers in the game. But I love Janarius, man. I, I love it. Just, you got everything that you want. You, you got speed, you got length, uh, and you got perseverance, and he's just going to get after it. And the fact that he's just absorbing up all this knowledge uh, from Zadarius Smith, I think Zadarius taking him under his wing, I think that this is only going to pay dividends. Where, I mean, Janarius. He's a complete wild card, man. He's a complete unknown. And uh, fa some fans, uh, a little bit out of sight, out of mind, they may have completely forgot about Janarius Robinson. They may have forgotten about Patrick Jones' second, but they're going to remember him this year. That's right. Pass rush upon pass rush upon pass rush. It, it is going to be the greatest pass rushing platoon, PRP, pass rush platoon uh, in the National Football League. And uh, taking care of the young guys, uh, paying it forward uh, is a big part of that. So love and respect to Darius for doing that, as well as Janarius for accepting that mentorship. Because uh, sometimes as a young guy, you think you got everything figured out. It's like, oh, it's not my fault. 
it's everyone else's, but no, uh, respect your elders and take all of that knowledge uh, so that you can learn from their mistakes and you can build upon their successes. It's exactly what's going on right here. Love it, man. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Darius Smith mentoring Janarius Robinson. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Most worth the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.